Nurse Edith Cavill. Born in Norfolk, a vicar's child, she was never left to run wild, but she had fun, she was not an only one. Skated and played many a game, she could not know that she was destined for fame. A legacy allowed her to travel abroad, but her money she did not hoard. She endowed a hospital she wished to aid, so that its services would grow, not fade. As a governess to Brussels she went, it would be in this city that to her destiny she was sent. She returned to England to tend to her ill father, and did her vocation as a nurse discover. In this capacity, back to Brussels she went to save all that she could, and she was true and brave. In 1914 began the terrible war that would end all others. There would be no more. The hospital where she worked became a Red Cross worm, and this is where she her fame and martyrdom won. Her duty was to treat and save the wounded and hurt who had been in injured in the trenches and dirt. But she could not give up those hunted men who would face death again if the occupying forces got hold of them. Her love of mankind did from her heart stem. And she often helped organise their escape and did ignore the rules and risks of red tape. She was betrayed and arrested and faced her own death with duty, love, truth and steadfastness to her last breath. She was brave and uncomplaining, forgiving all to the last, and her death will remain in the present and not in the past. She stated that she must not have bitterness or hatred towards anyone. She knew that her faith meant God's will would be done. Her death resounded around the world as an avalanche of disgust and horror unfurled. The Americans had failed to enter this just war, but the execution of this great woman they did her bore. The Germans had made a huge propaganda blunder and this news hit them asunder as it helped the Americans make their decision and enter into the war they could now envision. Edith's life lives on as a beacon of truth and love, of courage and integrity, blessed from heaven above. Her example and sacrifice will never die at all, and her memory will never pall.